Morgus presents. Morgus presents is brought to you by Cox Communications, connecting you for 25 years. Hello there, friends of science, students, <laughs> those of you who know the meaning of the symbol, <laughs> and especially my dear medical colleagues. I know you're going to be watching tonight due to all the pre-publicity and rumors about uh, what I am going to unleash to the general public. <laughs> so colossal is this presentation tonight that millions of people in the future will never know a sick day in their lives, nor enter the hapless halls of a hospital, <laughs> much less a doctor's office. I know, I know that sounds ridiculous to some of you eternal medical skeptics, but I warned you dilly-dallying doctors, when you stop making house calls, it would come back to haunt you. <laughs> well, welcome to Halloween. <laughs> no, no, don't take it off, don't take it off. That's not your cue. Oh, well, anyway, my dear patients, uh, a medical revelation of historical significance will be unfolded in just a moment. Hang in there. Don't take it off. And now, Stay true. The master will return in one brief moment. Take it off. Put it in the closet when I tell you. Oh, hello there. I know your VCRs are going to be busy tonight. <laughs> we are going to put this Morgus medical marvel in every home and workplace throughout the country, my dear friends. May I proudly introduce the Bio-Ultronic Body Analyzer. <laughs> there it is. B-U-B-A. Affectionately called Bubba. <laughs> now, before I explain Bubba's function, you must understand a few earth-shaking facts. The day of the family doctor is doomed. <laughs> I want you to write these two words down, students. Preventative medicine. Preventative medicine. That is the wave of the future. No longer will you have to wait until sickness strikes you, even a headache or a, or a boil on your, your baby bottom. <laughs> After all, we cannot see what's under our skins, nor what's happening or trying to happen. But Bubba can. And if Bubba can tell us what sickness is about to happen, Bubba can prescribe what can stop it from happening. Tell them how it works. <laughs> of course, you're involved, Eric. Oh, my friends, the, the bubba that you will eventually own, you see, will be attached to your telephone line and accessible to our Morgus Medical Mainframe Analyzer, Eric, which, as some of you know, stands for Eon Research Infinity Computer. <laughs> and believe me, this baby is fiber optic. There's nothing like it anywhere, believe me. <laughs> Thank you. Master. <laughs> That's my boy. And of course, to stay healthy every day, all you'll have to do is visit Bubba and press a little button here and a little button there, and you'll be totally analyzed. In fact, I'll press this button here. A little cup comes out. And, uh, there you, oh, <laughs> I didn't expect this. Let's see, yeah. Sometimes it dispenses a little fruit juice. Oh, a little orange juice. Pretty good. <laughs> now, I know what some of you people are thinking here. Can I get one of these things? And of course, can I afford one? The answer is, you bet your last doctor bill you can. <laughs> now, for the moment, until we can uh, get some cheap government financing money to uh, build the home appliance size bubbles, all of you who are within the driving distance of my lab here can use the big bubba, you see. Now, I know you've You've heard of these different type of uh, health cares like uh, Medicare and MaxiCare. <laughs> we are going to open up Morgie Care. <laughs> Morgie Care, my dear friends, for everyone. No money down. You can join the plan without a credit check. And all we're going to charge is a little monthly fee of $24.95, and that includes all your children. <laughs> so don't worry about a thing. You don't pay as long as you're sick. It's the old Chinese way. And of course, Bubba 
My dear Bubba here will be watching you, so we'll know if you're cheating. <laughs> In one moment, the experiment will continue. Ah, uh, it's working beautifully. That's it. All right, turn it off, Chotsley. Oh, yeah, that gives him a lot of exercise. Oh, hi there, friends. <laughs> Well, looks like we've got a lot of action already since I announced this big opportunity here. Out in the hallway, we have dozens of people who have arrived to join our mortgage plan. <laughs> Just imagine, imagine knowing what sickness you're about to get before you get it. <laughs> then getting rid of it before it can happen. <laughs> now that, my friends, is what preventative medicine is all about. It's the only answer to this monstrous money medical mess. Oh, well, by the way, I'm going to use Chopsley here for a demonstration. Don't worry, Chopsley. Just step inside the analyzer like I told you. All right, get in there. Now, what we're going to do is give a quick demonstration. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. We're going to turn on the analyzer. It will analyze Chopsley's body and give me a little readout here on the printer. And it tells us what medicine to prescribe if he's not healthy. And then, of course, we put him on the on the treadmill over here because when you take the medicine we want your blood to operate very quickly and it pumps your heart up and it makes the medicine get in your body right away and that's why we have the treadmill I know you'd be asking later okay Chopsy just stay right in the middle here we go we'll throw it on there we go all right up goes the analyzer down goes the analyzer <laughs> and here comes the printout Look at that. Okay. Here it is, Shotsley. It says, perfect physical specimen. I guess you, you figured that, huh? Major facial surgery recommended. <clears throat> Possible malpractice suit. Uh, well, <laughs> of course, never mind. Uh, I did a little surgery on Shotsley a few years ago, and of course, uh, it hasn't healed yet, but uh, we're going to get around to that sooner or later. But anyway, we're going to let some of these people in. Shotsley, you just get out of the way and stand by if I need you. All right. Let's see who's out here. Oh, okay. Oh. Now, look, I can't take everybody. One at a time here. All right, you come in here. Hey, dude, what's happening? Oh, hey, man, this is a crazy pad you got here, Daddy. What? Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. Say, man. Uh, what is your name, fella? Oh, my name is uh, Asteroid. I'm from the planet Buzz On, man. Buzz On? You look like you got a Buzz On. Uh, listen, uh, you may need this machine. Uh, Asteroid, you say? All right, Mr. Asteroid, just step over here. <coughs> look, uh, that's all this is, is a simple, uh, a simple procedure. Give me your hand over here. By the way, you folks watching, all we do is take a reading like a fingerprint through the machine's uh, x-ray eye here. You see that once you put your hand in there, it takes a photograph. And now we know who you are, your fingerprint. I mean, it's just like the FBI. Cool, step, man. <laughs> step in there. All right. You just face the, the front here. I'm going to turn on a little instrument or two. We're going to take a quick reading, and you're going to feel fine. Oh, wow. Do it, Daddy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Turn it on. There we go. You're not feeling anything, are you? No, oh, not a thing. <laughs> We're just doing a little scanning here, just like a CAT scan. All right, cut it off. And here comes the readout. Here it is. Okay, Mr. Asteroid, it says, uh, dangerous chemical imbalance, uh, kidney function, erratic, emergency. Activate dispenser button. You just stay right there. Yeah, we got a quick case here. All we'll do is just activate the dispenser button like this. Out will come the proper medicine. The machine knows immediately what to prescribe. Okay, asteroid, take a little bit of that. Right down quickly. There you go. Oh, man, I like to take things. <laughs> if you like to take things, I want you to take a little run over here. You see this thing? <laughs> Step up on there. All right, this is called a treadmill. Now you hold on. I'm going to turn it on for about 10 seconds. It'll stir up your blood. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. There he goes. Now, what we're doing here is getting the medicine to work in his bloodstream because his heart is pumping fast. It'll cut off in just a moment. You'll see. <laughs> there you go. 
All right, step off. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel wonderful. This is wonderful. Dr. Morgus, thank you. Thank you very much. This is the best I've ever felt. You know, I'm going to go home and call my mother and father. I haven't talked to them in years. Can I come back, sir? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I want you back here tomorrow. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not that well, you know. Oh, good. I, I will. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll, I'll come back every day. I'll be here. <laughs> this is wonderful. You see what we've just done? A simple machine has turned this, this wayward person into a normal human being. Imagine what we're going to do for society in America if this thing can be put out across the country. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, excuse me, telephone. Oh, boy. I know that phone's going to start ringing. Hello, Morgus here. Who? Doctor and Nurses Association? Oh, really? What do you mean, protest? Oh, what are you talking? Oh, really? Well, I have political connections, too. Let's take a break. Then the master returns. Baba, no. Doctors, yes. Baba, no. Doctors, yes, Bubba, no. Doctors, yes, Bubba, no. Doctors, yes, Bubba, no. <laughs> oh, we gotta do something, Chuffley. You go out there and scare them. Oh, come. All right. Oh, uh, we got a little protesting going on here, friends. Don't worry about it. They're all against Bubba. Of course they're against Bubba. They're living in fear of their jobs. Doctors, yes, Bubba, no. Welcome, everybody. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, who are you? I'm with the Doctors and Nurses Association. Yeah, well, I just got off the phone with them a while ago. Now, look, uh, you guys can't keep this up. This is my place, you know. Uh, what are all these signs here? Bubba's got to go. Uh, morticians against Bubba? That's right. Uh, ambulance drivers, doctors, hospitals? That's right. Yeah, our president wants to see you. Oh, really? Well, you go and get your president. I'm right here, fella. Okay, I will. The rest of you stay here. Oh, all right. Listen, the rest of you patients that want to join the Morgan plan, come on. Oh, you, fella, let this man in. Move aside. Doctors, yes. yes. Bubba, no. Come on in. Doctors, yes. Uh, Bubba, no. Doctors, uh, yes. Bubba, no. All right. Oh, hi, friends. <laughs> we, uh, we got our patient here. What is your name, sir? Uh, Claude Wilson. Oh, Claude. All right, Claude. You look like a perfectly healthy fella. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing fine. I hope I can remain that way. Well, look, you just step over here and join our mortgage care here. Give me your hand here, fella. All you have to do is put it in here like that. All right, we're taking a little picture, of course. All right, that's good. Now you just step right there in the analyzer, and we're going to check you out. Bubba knows everything. All right, let's see. There we go. There it comes. You won't feel a thing, Wilson. <laughs> She goes, and now, see that? <laughs> All right, here she comes. All right, Wilson. Let's see, it says here, chemical balance adequate, heart rate normal, severe cranial epidermal cilia deficiency. Severe cranial epidermal. That means you have dead hair somewhere. Uh, what's your... <laughs> well, um... <coughs> I do have this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, well, uh, you do have a little problem there, Wilson. We'll just get you a little medicine right over here. All right. There it comes. <laughs> All right. Mr. Wilson, I got something for you to drink here. Take it right down. <laughs> Will this grow hair? Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> if Bubba puts it out, believe me, it'll solve the problem. Now, I want you to get on this treadmill over here. All right, stand on there. We're going to turn it on right here. Okay. Now just trot naturally so the chemistry can work through your bloodstream. It'll cut off automatically. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel the tingling already. <laughs> Dr. Morgus. Look, look. Uh, can I come back? Oh, yeah, you can come back every day. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
Dr. Marcus, thank you so much. Oh, listen, you'll, you. ha you'll have hair within a month, I believe. <laughs> oh, I feel it. All right. I feel it. <laughs> Got a happy man here. Dr. Yes, no. Oh. Dr. Yes, Mala, no. Dr. Yes. Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Dr. Wagesback, and I'm very upset. You see, I've just finished building this $2 million medical clinic. Looks more like a hotel. It is like a hotel for sick people. And I'm going to lose that hotel if that machine goes on the market. Oh, don't worry about that machine. Uh, that's for sick people, doctor. Sick I mean, people. think of all the accidents that are going to happen. That's right. Accidents? I, I, I forgot about accidents. Of course. Of course. Like Pe natural disasters, right? People shooting themselves. Tornadoes and don't hurricanes. Don't worry about it. Thank you, doctor. I'm sorry. <laughs> In fact, maybe I'll call it the accident clinic. You got it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> of course. There'll always be accidents. <laughs> Stay where you are. The master returns momentarily. Shoot people, go home. Come on in, folks. Go home. Oh, I tell you. All right, all right. Oh, thank, thank you for seeing me, Dr. Moore. Oh, uh, Walter welcome. Elliot. What is your name? Walter Elliot. Mr. Elliot. Yes, I, I'm a very sick man, a very sick man. What's wrong with you? I, I have pains all over, all over. How long have you had this? All my life. I've never had a well day in my life. All your life? All my life. Oh. Uh, I hope you can help me, doctor. Oh, yeah, I think I can. Oh, why don't you just, can you, can you walk? Yes. All right, would you yeah. mind getting up? Just put that aside here. <laughs> oh, yes, just set that down. All right, uh, Elliot, right? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, I want you to give your hand a little picture here. <laughs> All right, Mr. Elliot, I want you to step into the circle. Yes, sir, you don't look like a... Very healthy man, do no, you? I, I'm a very sick man. Well, doctor. this machine very will check you man. out right away. Okay. okay, let's see what you look like. There we go. <laughs> Just stay still there, Mr. Elliot. There you go. We're getting a good picture of you. This won't hurt me, will it? Oh, no, of course not. Let's get the readout here. All right, let's see, Mr. Elliot. It says, excellent, perfect condition. Oh, blood pressure normal. But, but, but that can't be, doctor. I, I'm a very sick man. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, of course you are. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's just, maybe it's the machine. I, 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 it, it must be, doctor. Yeah, I think it is. I, I, I'm a very I have an sick idea. Man. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just going to make a little adjustment here. Okay, yes, let's try this again. I think it's the machine. I, I, I'm sure. All right, now let's try again. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. <laughs> okay, you just stay still there. <laughs> now we'll find out. Oh, yeah, you can see it's even working better. <laughs> All right, here comes the readout. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it says uh, hypochondriacus of the streptococcomimi. Yeah, you got something very serious uh, here. You, You're a sick you, man. You are we, we, we better get some medicine uh, for you. You are wise. Oh, absolutely. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're getting the strong stuff. Uh, yes, sir. All right, I want you to take this right away and get on a treadmill. Okay. You better hurry. Very sick man. <laughs> oh, you give me that. You step right over there, Mr. Elliot, and I'm going to turn this thing on for about four miles an hour. You just hang on there. There you go. <laughs> Hang on, I'll bet you feel better already. I, I feel much better, Doctor. I feel <laughs> much better. Oh, <coughs> thank you very much. Well, listen, you come back every day because you're a sick man. Uh, yes, sir, Doctor. I will. All thank right. you very much, you're Doctor. Right I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, there's a telephone. Let's see. That's probably the president. Hello. Yes, this is Morgus. The president? Oh, now listen, Mr. President. What? Collect. What do you mean, collect? <laughs> they want collect. The president's calling collect. All right, put him on. Oh, boy, this country's in trouble. Listen, Mr. President, since it's on my nickel, I want you to know that uh, we're having trouble here. Uh, the, these medical associations, I mean, you know, they're strangling the people. And I've got this machine called a bubba, and it's going to get rid of those kind of... Oh, you're the president of the doctor's association. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, let me talk to you guys a minute here. I want to... And now, stay tuned. The master will return in one...
one brief moment. All right, you just throw this when I tell you, okay? Oh, hi, friends. <laughs> a lot of people are worried about my health, so uh, I got a show on television that I'm in perfect health. Go ahead and throw that thing, Chosley. You see, I know a lot of you want to join this uh, mortgage care plan, but uh, if something happened to me, why, well, uh, we wouldn't want to leave this in the hands of this rubber brain. Oh, all right, you got the printout? Here we go. All right, I'm going to show you right now. General balance normal, physical condition perfect. <laughs> Caution. Oh, major headache imminent. Absorb liquid aspirin. Recommend one minute on the treadmill. Oh, no. Liquid aspirin. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> well, this machine knows a lot. Get this, Johnson. All right. Johnson, get over here and turn this up to about number one. I'm going to set this for one minute on the treadmill. All right. <laughs> That's working fine, Chopsley. Oh, somebody's at the door. Who could that be? Yeah, who are you? Dr. Fletcher Smith, president. Agnes Crump, vice president. Oh, yeah, the Doctor and Nurses Association. Well, listen, I'll be off of this thing in just one minute. Well, we're here to tell you that we're not going to sit still and let you and your machine ruin our business. Well, listen, let's talk this over. After all, I mean, we could all make money out there. I mean, I could even offer you people a franchise. <gasps> Don't you give us that stuff. We know what you're trying to do. What? We know that you want to take over the entire medical business, and we're here to stop you. Right. Remember, we have a big lobby in Washington. Oh, really? You have a lobby? <laughs> well, listen, I have a big hallway out there, and I might have Chopsley throw both of you out there. You don't realize what I have here. This is a national treasure, and I intend to protect it. I can see we can't talk to him. Let's go, Miss Crumb. No, you can't talk to me. In fact, after seeing you two, I know why I'm getting a headache coming on. Oh, you've got a headache coming on? Yes. Well, maybe we can speed it up for you. Oh, oh, oh. Godfrey, Godfrey, stop this crazy thing, Godfrey! Presents was brought to you by Cox Communications, connecting you for 25 years.